this is our Dabomb board. Uh, that board is for all wave uh, riders from, uh, I would say, uh, uh, initiating wave riding to uh, advanced wave rider. It's a little bit more oriented towards onshore than the, than the DAC curve. So it goes from onshore to side shore for the conditions. Uh, those boards are, are wider than the DAC curve also. We have a faster, faster rocker line. We also have the double concave for the grip in the curve. We also have the, the channels for the, for the grip in the curve. Um, the board have wider tail than the, the curve, so much more power. This always helps a lot for onshore conditions. And uh, they come in thruster as the deck curve, but with some uh, bigger fins also for, to help the going up wind in, uh, or in current when you are in onshore conditions. Um, they are also made in WCIF, which is our wave uh, carbon integral flex technology. On this board, we also have this thick taboo pads with a double density foam. Uh, to protect the board and yourself. So the Dabom come in three, three sizes. We have 84, 94 and 104. So this is a new 2020 Dabom. When you get this board, you can see that the stance is classic stance. It's not too big or too wide as it, it is on the Dakar. This stance is quite better for the normal European condition because with a smaller stance, you have quicker acceleration, quicker planning and more reactivity under the foot, even if the waves are not too powerful. So the classic stance, um, one thing it's quite important with a quite small stance is where you put the strap, more in the front or more in the back. More you will put the foot strap in the back, more aggressive turns that you can do, but you're gonna lose a little bit of control if the conditions are hardcore. If you put the foot strap a little bit more forward, you will have a quicker planning, more power, but a little bit ability to turn on really powerful wave. So one more time, it's really personal, matter, but at the end of the day, when the board is good, wherever you put the foot strap, it will be always a good session. The mass foot, it's, already, it's also something really personal. Um, if you are looking for quick planning, acceleration, and some nervosity, you can put a little bit the mass track in the back, like one or two CM maximum, and if this improves, then you stay at this place. And if you need more, you can change it, but change by one or two CM each time, not more. And the opposite, if you are sailing in really bad condition, strong wind, choppy, or with a small sail who is super light on the north, you can put the mass work a little bit in the front, like one or two CM, not more, and then you see if it's improved. And if not, you can do one more time. But basically, the middle position works for 95% of the condition and the sail. Concerning fins, the board comes with a US box on the middle. That means you can use a single fin if you want. But this thruster is a really good thruster because it's as powerful as a single fin and as fast as a single fin. So basically, you don't need to, to come back to all single fin like back in the day. Um, the general things about thruster is a fin's position. More far away from each other the fins are, more power you will have, more grip you will have, more control you will have. And if you are looking for a little bit more maniability or short turn depending on the condition, you can put the fins together. That means the side fins more on the back and the front fins more in the front. So you will turn quicker and shorter and you can lose a little bit of control at one point. And that's how you can tune your 2020 Dabomb production board.